Honorable Premier, Dr. Diolana Smith, invited guests, sponsors, delegates, colleagues, friends. I'm so pleased to be standing here opening the inaugural, the inaugural Step BVI conference. The conference was a thought and idea for many years. And we at Step BVI are extremely happy that today it is a reality. It has been a thought and a want for many reasons. The underlying principle of STEP is to provide education opportunities for its members, to facilitate the growth of members, and by extension, the growth of the industry. We believe forums such as this facilitate that growth process. And by hosting this conference, our luncheons and seminars, we are fulfilling that mandate. We also saw the need to create a forum at which BVI financial services professionals, IT experts, policymakers, regulators, government, and academics could present and discuss the latest developments and issues affecting our industry. Today's agenda is a reflection of this. We would have presentations on <coughs> marketing in today's <coughs> environment, <coughs> data security, compliance for trustees, the new regulatory environment, and where are we now with the McKinsey Report. But perhaps most important to us at Step BVI was the need to bring an opportunity to the BVI. We know that many in the industry, for a variety of reasons, do not get the opportunity to attend international step and other similar conferences, and therefore do not have the opportunity to benefit from the shared wisdom, ideas, and information offered at these conferences. A primary objective of this conference was therefore to bring that opportunity to you and offer a conference of the caliber of one that you would travel overseas for, but of course without the expense. Our theme is a new playing field, and I think it's quite apt with the reality of, with the reality of our industry today. A few years ago, we were discussing whether the playing field was level. I think we have no doubt now that it is not level, and perhaps will never be level, and that offshore financial centers will always have a higher mountain to climb to prove itself to the powers that be, whether they are sincerely listening or not. What we are faced with today is a totally different playing field from only a few years ago, with rules that are constantly changing. Our first panel discussion today, which carries the theme of the conference, will guide you, the players, through some of the new rules of this new playing field. Step BVI is constantly growing. Our numbers are constantly increasing, and this is in a large part due to members in the industry wanting to prepare themselves for the tools and skills for the new playing field. I must make special mention of the Financial Services Institute that is a partner in this growth by offering many of the courses to become in to become step qualified. The, FS, the FSI has been doing an excellent job and we have seen amazing results with our students. We at Step BVI see the potential of, the, of, S, of F, FSI and look forward with great anticipation to it becoming a true center of excellence, servicing and supporting the all round growth of the industry. We have invited the students that were recently very successful in the Certificate of International Trust Management Program and we'll be presenting their, certif their certificate to them during the lunch and break. Please join us in celebrating them. I could not close today without making special mention of our speakers and sponsors. We will have some great minds on the stage today who have embraced the opportunity to share what they know through the presentations and the questions and answer sessions. All presentations will have question and answer sessions and all but this opening <coughs> ceremony and the panel discussion on the McKinsey Report will be closed sessions to allow for frank and candid discussion of the issues that affect us. Sorry, press. <laughs> Our sponsors, I know investing in the first of anything is always a risk, and we are pleased with the support we have had from the government and the private sector. I must make special mention of Malcolm Wetnall and his team at CIBC First Caribbean for coming on board early and in a big way. This conference would not have been a reality without the support of BVI Finance, Trident Trust Company, Harness, Coverdale Trust, O'Neill Webster, who didn't really have a choice in the matter, 
and our rocket sponsor, Infinite Solutions. This afternoon, we will, we will be rocking an iPad. I told you we're doing it by international conferences. Kindly donated by Infinite Solutions. On registration, your names were entered in the raffle, and we will do the drawing during the closing ceremony. The catch is, you have to be in the room to win. <laughs> I now have the pleasure of inviting our Honorable Premier, Dr. Dio Landis-Smith, to the podium to offer his remarks. <laughs> Uh, good morning, everyone. I'd like to recognize Ms. Vanessa King, the chairman of the BVI, and also Ms. Helen Ann Louis Simonet, who is the vice president of um, STEP Worldwide. So, good morning again to all who are here today. I'm pleased to be here with you. STEP has been a long time collaborator with successful governments of the BVI in the development, promotion, and protection of the BVI financial services industry. Successive chairs of the BVI branch of STEP have served on advisory committees and worked in close collaboration with the government on innovative measures to enhance the BVI product. And let me acknowledge the fine work of the founding branch chair, Mr. Chris McKenzie, who was instrumental in the introduction of the Virgin Islands Special Trust Act and has brought so much recognition, not to mention huge amounts of business to the BVI, as Chris McKenzie. The state partnership with the BVI government is deeply appreciated, not only because of the impact of trust practices on the business of the BVI, but because STEP is fundamentally about education. My government recognizes and applauds the individual efforts of their members in pursuing the International Trust Management Diploma. We also express our gratitude for your contribution to the establishment of the Financial Services Institute that is now the primary institution of tertiary level education, equipping BBA landers for significant roles in the industry. We look forward to a continued collaborative and mutually beneficial relationship that we don't the benefit of our people. I know that this conference represents the delivery of a commitment by STEP to providing opportunities for continuing professional development to the members and to the industry generally. And it is hard one to see how many of you have taken full advantage of this opportunity. The team chosen for the conference is a new playing field. It was step worldwide that back in 2003 helped fund the study designed to protect our industry. That report was what's called towards a level playing field. And it helped us to push back very strongly against the attacks of those days. But the attacks have been relentless, and we continue to be under great pressure to maintain the integrity and sustainability of the industry. As a result of the agenda set by various international organizations, international finance centers everywhere are constrained to adopt measures that are rapidly changing the landscape in which we operate. This conference is therefore very timely, <coughs> as it addresses all the issues that are currently impacting the industry. The imposition of more and more restrictions on the way we can do business has of course negatively impacted us, but it has also given us an opportunity. By seeking to professionalize our practitioners and by ensuring that we attain the high standards of learning open to the various strands of practice in the industry, we can enhance brand BVI and secure for the BVI a place as a premier international finance center. Only recently, my government launched a program to enhance and promote the industry. BVI Forward, designed to engage not only the industry, but the entire population, is committed to implementing 10 of the most strategic goals recommended in the McKinsey Report, which I know to be discussed in one of his sessions today. Again, step has played a great supporting role in this endeavor. With many of your members serving our committees that have helped to develop the strategies that will be rolled out over the next few months as we implement the recommendations of the McKinsey Report. One of those recommendations has informed the strengthening of the Financial Services Institute, which offers key elements of qualifications in trust management, fund administration, compliance management, 
and the Chartered Secretary Certificate. BB Islanders have already taken advantage of the opportunity offered to professionalize their careers by pursuing these certificates, and we hope that many more will do so. The competitive nature of the financial services industry means that our target markets are seeking not only cost-effective solutions, but also highly qualified and expert service. As a territory, we need to keep building on our outstanding reputation for good products and good service. This means we have to continue delivering on our commitment to broadening the range of products and deepening our talent pool. We can do so by offering opportunities to all nationals and residents for achieving the qualification needed to enhance our reputation at the premier financial services jurisdiction. The financial services industry occupies pride of place on the landscape of the Virgin Islands economy because it provides more than 65% of our annual gross domestic product. Many of you here know that this intimately, but research tells us that the average BV Islander does not relate to this fact on any deep level. In order to ensure that our future success as we take BVA forward, everyone, every person living in these islands need to be committed to the enduring success of this territory as a provider of superior quality financial services. Conferences such as this will help. We hope that all of you will go into the community and be ambassadors for the industry both here at home and abroad. We have recently won the approval of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development for having attained desirable standards of compliance with international financial regulations. And this was no mean feat. We have been able to do this not just because we have consistently enacted appropriate legislation, but because we have been able to win the support of the industry in applying and enforcing the laws that prove our compliance. This cooperation needs to continue as we focus on scaling the heights of the industry globally. We have to take on our closest rivals for the business boom coming out of China, at the Singapore and Hong Kong. Our gateways to China are also our rivals for the business that we have been doing for more than 30 years. By copying our laws and enticing away top talent from our islands to their jurisdictions, they impeded our growth. But they also work with us, and so we need to be poised to match their abilities. I have just set our sights on that goal to be more enticing than Singapore and Hong Kong, even as we seek markets closer to home in Latin America. My government is committed to pushing ahead with plans that will enhance the sector. We hope that you will continue to support us in that commitment, and we look forward to working with all of you as we continue to take BVI forward. Thank you. I now have the honor of, of welcoming Mr. Matavius, who is no stranger to us, to the podium to give his remarks. Mr. Matavius. Good morning, everyone. First of all, let me say how delighted I am to join you this morning and for the opportunity to give what I'm told have to be some very, 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 very brief <laughs> remarks. <laughs> financial centers, financial services practitioners, financial service regulators, and indeed anyone associated with the financial services industry continue to take a beating in the international press. Consequently, the reputation of the industry is at an all-time low. This is the reality of the new playing field for cross-border financial services. Industry practitioners, regulators, must therefore adopt and be prepared to learn new skills and to inculcate a culture in which training and improvement are the norm. On behalf of the Financial Services Commission, 
I therefore wish to come in step, BVI, for organizing this timely event. I would wish to convey our gratitude to those organizations who have made it possible for their employees to attend this training and sensitization initiative, as well as those who are investing their own future, who are investing in their own future and using their own resources to participate. I wish you all a stimulating, informative, and a beneficial conference. At the Commission, we see initiatives such as this as a vital component of the jurisdiction's arsenal for upscaling industry practitioners to meet constantly changing obligations arising out of the international standards applicable to those engaged in cross-border financial services. We further believe our human capital must play an integral and vital role in the competitiveness of our financial services industry and that we must all be ready, not just for the realities of today, but also for the future landscape. We believe that collective decision-making for the common good not only finds solutions of benefit to all, but also results in policies designed and implemented on conviction of that which is best which is in the best interest of the jurisdiction, rather than them having to be imposed, whether of necessity or by necessity, as an obligation on the jurisdiction. Now, if the BVI is to continue to be a relevant player in this new playing field, our watchword, our mantra, and our resolve must be to learn and to evolve. In this regard, it must be agreed that mastering one's craft includes lifelong learning to keep abreast of industry developments and requirements, as well as to update and to refresh one's skills. The Commission believes in promoting and championing initiatives that create an enabling environment that results in onboarding of simpler, more efficient, more effective, and fit for purpose financial services and products that meet legitimate needs of the discriminating clientele we seek to serve. STEP BVI continues to be an important partner in this process, and we long cherish the relationship that we have had with STEP BVI in, that, in the cause. You see, the financial services sector is truly a global sector. It knows no borders. In this dynamic and highly competitive sector, one cannot be complacent. Resting on our laurels is not an option. For our sector to continuously evolve and keep pace with the latest international market developments, we need to boost the confidence of investors in the jurisdiction and in the expertise, the wisdom, and experience of its practitioners. The FSC is fully committed to doing its part to consolidate the BVI as a stable, credible, and a trustworthy center for doing business. It is in this vein that we continue to partner with organizations such as STEP, the Compliance Association, the Association of Registered Agents, the Financial Services Institute, and anyone else who will share the goal of ensuring that the British Virgin Islands remain a thriving financial services sector. The financial landscape will always be subject to transition as global standards and best practices continue to evolve and emerge. But it is our collaborative efforts that will be key to maintaining a competitive edge. And 
just to show you the extent to which the commission is committed to playing the process and to being a partner. Something which doesn't happen very often is happening today. As a matter of religious certainty, every Wednesday morning, the Financial Services Commission licensing and supervisory committee meets to review licenses and to look at supervisory issues. However, this morning, it is not meeting because four of the people who are supposed to be meeting there are all playing some role here in step BVI. That only happens because we value the partnership with step BVI. You see, together we must provide more learning pathways and training opportunities for financial services, for financial sector practitioners, professionals, students, etc., to learn continuously and to be prepared for the challenges ahead. This conference is part and parcel of our efforts <coughs> to instill public confidence and the development of a lasting, compliant, competitive, and vibrant financial services sector, where expert knowledge, professional conduct, ethical behavior, and customer-centric ethos is the norm. This is the challenge of the new playing field. Let us all respond appropriately. On this note, I wish you a successful conference. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Matavius. Thank you, BVIFSC, for the support of, a, of the conference and of the support of Step BVI generally. I hope nobody blames Step BVI for any delay in any license applications. <laughs> 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 um, with that, I'll declare the conference open. <laughs>